Hey y'all, this is Anso. I'm here on Attention Horse channel today, and um, we're going to react to Alba and Peach. Stop lying. Got to say that to so many people, so many people. Today's topic, China. Now, during this whole uh, pandemic, I've seen so much talk about China and some people are like putting blame on China. Some people feel it's unacceptable. I have to ask yourself, when are we going to have this real discussion? Not about the Chinese people, about the Chinese government. Right, not the people. There's a difference. You have to make a difference, though. The media here makes it sound like you cannot criticize China whatsoever. Mm -hmm. If you do, you're somehow bigoted and all this other stuff. And as I'm like, a government? What? As a government? The governmental response from China to this virus has been one of the big reasons that it spread so much. Not only the studies showcasing that, but the very own Chinese people have taken to their media platforms to express their outrage at how the Chinese government has handled it. So if the Chinese people are upset, why is it so strange for foreign governments and for foreigners to be also upset with their response? If you don't remember, early on when this happened, that government denied the existence of the virus. They made everyone think they were crazy. They silenced people. They allegedly made people disappear. A medical center in the epicenter of the virus outbreak, under stress, short on supplies, overwhelmed with patients. The video is from Chun Cho, a lawyer who made the risky choice to become a citizen journalist and defy government efforts to control information. In front of me is the virus, and behind me is the legal and administrative power of China. As long as I live in this city, I will continue to report. I only report what I see, what I hear. I'm not even scared of that. You think I'm afraid of the Communist Party? No, Chun is gone. He disappeared last week and has not responded to messages. So far, authorities would only say he is, quote, under control. Amnesty International say he's been forcibly quarantined. And he's not the only one to pay the price for defying state authority. The blogger, fact... Are you listening to this? Let's hear that one more time. Listen. Lies overwhelmed with patience. The video is from Chun Cho, a lawyer who made the risky choice to become a citizen journalist and defy government efforts to control information. In front of me is the virus, and behind me is the legal and administrative power of China. As long as I live in this city, I will continue to report. I only report what I see, what I hear. I'm not even scared of death. You think I'm afraid of the Communist Party? No, Chun is gone. He disappeared last week and has not responded to messages. So far, authorities would only say he is, quote, under control. Amnesty International say he's been forcibly quarantined. And he's not the only one to pay the price for defying state authority. The blogger Fang Bin took this video from a hospital in Wu. It seems to show body bags. Then he received a menacing knock on his door. Fang had been posting videos daily, proof that he was free. Those uploads stopped on Monday, and he's been unreachable by phone, fueling speculation of his arrest. When Li Wenliang, a doctor in Wuhan, warned of the virus in December, authorities accused him and several others of severely disturbing the social order. If I don't knock you out when we knuckle up, then the razor come out. Excuse me, you know we got to do these commercials. Grab you by Gaslight. Right? For months, for months when people could have been taking this more seriously and could have been preparing, right? They hid what was going on. Huh? In Taiwan, the alarm bells started ringing early, long before Canada and others reacted. How a people so close to the epicenter could have avoided the worst so far? 
No, it's not over, and we are not reaching the peak yet. Investigators confirmed at least 41 people are sick with the mysterious new virus. Joseph Wu explains when suspicious cases popped up in China labeled as pneumonia, Taiwan deployed a task force to investigate firsthand. When they returned, uh, they told the uh, key health officials uh, that China was trying to hide something, and therefore we got nervous. Then they went under martial law. They tried to span a whole bunch of, you know, fake conspiracies that America did and all this other stuff. So there is a responsibility on that government. Their negligence spread this. I'm not talking about the people. I'm not saying Chinese people are culpable for what's happening. All right? I don't condone any of the terrible things that are happening to Asians all over the world as a result of some kind of bigoted movement by people who want to pit them, blame them for this. It's not their fault. That's not what I'm saying. But the government. But the government should be held accountable. And I don't know why people are so quick to cape for this government. I understand that they have huge lobbying power, that they have their money and everything. It's not even, I don't think it's even the money. It's, maybe it's part of the money, yes. Part of it is the money. There's another part that is people don't want to be, they don't want to sound. Calling it the China virus sounds. Because you, you, when you target China, you don't want to be, uh, you, you don't want to target the Chinese people. You don't want to. But you have to be able to make the separation what, that, that we're doing right now. We're not blaming the people. We're blaming the government. As a matter of fact, like you said before, the people that you think you're blaming, they have been blaming the government. Therefore, you know. I definitely agree that's probably a part of it. But also, we have to also admit, a huge part of it is just China's money. Yo, you gotta, you, you, you better protect your neck. Because, you know, Wuhan Klein ain't nothing to quit. Go, once you feel the symptoms, uh, go check Inspector Deck. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Listen, it, it, it's true. There's a method to this shit. Look at the NBA players. The NBA players are like, you'll never tell me to shut up and dribble. And China's like, shut up and dribble. And they're like, yes, we will. <laughs> we'll shut up and dribble. Yes, we can. Obama. <laughs> right? You know what I mean? Real quick. And, and their lobbying power is immense. They're, they can silence anybody. But it just it blows my mind that people are so quick to want to defend this oppressive regime. Don't keep in mind, it still has a whole bunch of Muslims in concentration camps right now in China. They have, con it is, they have concentration camps for Muslims? Yeah. It, it's an oppressive regime. So many human right, rights violations. You see what they were doing in Hong Kong. And all, you know, like I remember a couple months back, everyone's like, Hong Kong, we got support. We got support. And now this happens, and they're still engaging in a lot of the same tactics, and all of a sudden you guys want to defend them? I don't understand. Because they don't want to look bigoted. This is your brain when you enjoy a sweet night's sleep on it's a what I'm, mattress. We're trying to head for so we can get some... And this is your brain when you sleep on a... Listen... China is clearly weaponizing um, identity politics against us. They've put out reports saying, oh, if you say this kind of stuff, you're a racist and all this other stuff. I'm like, yeah. calm down, okay? You can be wrong. Not everything that we do, not all criticism that you receive is a result of your race. Mm -hmm. Listen, if you're a man and you have HIV and you lie to everybody about having HIV and then you spread it, that's a crime. You should be held accountable. How is this any different? How is it? How? Is it? I don't see it. Wait. They wait no nope. answer. Even the Chinese people are like, yo, you got to disclose your HIV status. <laughs> so how are we wrong? I don't get that. And now they have all these reports about how they got zero new cases. I don't believe a single word that comes out of the Chinese government media. Not a single one. They've I don't been know blocking why you... information and internet. So... <laughs> It's like a twilight zone there. Blows my mind, it's, man. It's, it's mild North Korea. It's North Korea diet. So, listen. It's gluten free North Korea, if you will. Uh, North, North Korea zero. <laughs> <laughs> Cholesterol free North Korea. <laughs> MSG laden. <laughs> Here's your fortune cookie. Your future don't look bright, people. Let's keep it 100, okay? Like, come on. Come on. They're painting this narrative so that they don't have to pay after this, but they should. They've messed up. They've cost people their lives. They've cost economies their money. They should 100% be held liable for their involvement in this. It doesn't mean that we couldn't have done better. It doesn't mean that the response shouldn't have been better. But they have been extremely negligent in this. It is what it is. 
I don't care if Trump agrees with this sentiment. I don't care if he's the one saying it. My problem is not with who says it. I don't care if the orange, I don't care about that. What is the truth? What is right? Everyone wants to get mad at Trump because he said it. Boo boo. CNN been saying the one life. They've been saying it. Everybody been saying it. Been saying it. It was. And then he says it and everyone's like, that's, calm down. Um, this is where we stand on this. We want to hear what you guys think. What do you think about China's involvement? What do you think about the criticism uh, levied towards them and the fact that everyone is racist if they say anything about this? We want to we want to hear your thoughts. So let us know in the comments below. Cool. Mm -hmm. No? Wuhan Clay? Wu Pang Clay ain't nothing to fuck with. Well, there you have it. And, um, we all do have to pay more attention. And sometimes we have to listen. And, and, and as they say, read in between the lines. And, and we have to listen very carefully to what we're being told and what's out there. And with that, they're gone. Make no, make no mistake. I mean, you know, they try to make light of some things, but the, it is, it is really, it's serious. Okay, and so, and and we need to take it as such. So this is, and so. Did the camera stop? Hmm? Did the camera stop? Did you? Okay. Okay, and so. With that, this is Anso signing off on. Okay, hit the damn button. Bye.